Come back uh, with uh, Spongseni Shabalala. Spongseni, good morning. Uh, let's talk about your performance uh, at the Rainbow Restaurant today. Sorry, we got cut off a little earlier. What can we look forward to in that performance? Uh, it's a very good performance. High energy, lots of dance, lots of singing. And we are very happy that uh, Rainbow has invited us back to come and sing for the people there and thankful to the Concert SA who supported the, the, the event today. All right. And talk to us about working with uh, producer Mtandeni Mvelase. What was that like and what was his contribution to the vision that is uh, Shabalala Rhythm? Um, Tandini is a very experienced producer who has worked with, uh, with Mbongeni Ngema, uh, Jabu Kanyile, and lots of other big artist names. Um, his vision, when we first spoke to him, was that he didn't want to change what we had, but just to add, or maybe it just make it, uh, just to add on what we had. So. That's what we liked about him because he, he, he doesn't want to change what you have, but he wants to make it better. Mm. He's a very good producer. And speaking about people that you've worked with, you've also worked with Uwanga Khatebe. Uh, Why was he the best person for this job? Uh, we met Makinga when we did a, a stage play of one of uh, the songs of Lady Speed Black Mambazo called Noma Temba. It was a play that we, we was staged in Chicago uh, back in 95. Uh, so we met him there because he was chosen as the best Maskandi or guitar player for the, for the performance there. So we started talking to him because we spent about five weeks in Chicago with him. So we started talking to him and laying and uh, talking about ideas of doing the, this kind of music, mixing with mixing Skatamiya and uh, Maskandi. So he was very good and he, he put a lot of ideas on the project. We believe there's a story behind uh, you naming the band Shabalala Rhythm. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, Shabalala Rhythm, because uh, my father is uh, Joseph Shabalala, the leader, founder of Lady Smith Black Mambazo. Um, I named my group uh, to honor my father, uh, Shabalala Rhythm. It's not me, Shabalala, but it's him. And because when I, I started uh, composing the songs, every time when, I, when, I came, when, when a song came up to me, maybe when I'm sleeping, getting it as a dream, I would get it as if my father was teaching me a song or teaching the group a song, and then I would wake up and find out, no, it's a new song. My father is teaching me the song. So that's why I named it uh, Shabalala Rhythm. Mm. And now you've taken over from your father because he's retired. Talk to us about that role and what it means to be a part of an institution like Ladysmith Black Mambazo. Yeah, in Ladysmith, uh, we, there's uh, four, uh, three of my brothers, there's four of us in Ladysmith Black Mambazo. My father taught us as a group to, to be able to work together, to listen to one another, to, to, to respect everyone's opinion on the group. So now that he's a, he has retired, we are doing just that to, to continue the dream that he had for the group to be oh. able to go around and teach people about their culture, give them uh, education because now ladies black mambazo it's not about one person but it's a it's a it's an institution for us to go around the world and teach people about our country uh -huh. about the love that we have for other people all right Spongiseni, thank you so much for talking to us good luck with the performance today uh, musician and Spongiseni shabalala speaking to us about shabalala rhythm who are making a return to rainbow restaurant in pine town in kz